So part one, we have what? We have show that the equation, this, e is equal to this, can be written in a quadratic equation in, in tan x. Okay, so let's see how can we do this. So step by step, here we have sine square theta plus 3 sine theta cos theta is equal to 4 cos square theta. Now the first thing we realize that what is tan x? Tan x, so tan theta is equal to sine theta over cos theta. So we realize that to obtain tan theta, we kind of have to divide by cos theta at some point. So in this case, since we have square, square, let me try to divide by cos square theta. Let's see what happens. So here you will have sine square theta over cos square theta, that will be tan square theta. Here you will have this, over this will be 3 cot, so here we have, sorry, cos is going to go away, so it's going to be sine over, so it's tan, not cot, tan theta. So let me re-explain, sorry for confusing you guys. So here you will have 3 sine theta over cos theta divided by cos square theta. So this will cancel out with this. So you will have 3 sine theta over cos theta, which is simply 3 tan theta. Okay, and then finally this will be just 1, which is 4, right? So rearrange you will have tan square plus 3 tan, and then minus 4, that will be zero. And this is shown as required for a quadratic equation. Here we have square, here we have linear, and then minus constant for the quadratic equation. For example, now to move on, I can uh, do something. Let x equal to tan theta. Let's see what happens. Again, this is just to help you. You will see you become x squared plus 3x minus 4. Okay, now we can solve this pretty easily. You can do by factorization or you can use your formula to do that. So here let's try, we can try factorization. Here we have x squared, it is x times x, and 4 is 4 times 1. We need to have minus, sorry, plus 3, I have to have plus 4 minus 1. So x will be minus 4, x will be the value of 1. So here we have two values to look at for. Now again, we're not trying to find x, we're trying to find theta. So x we know it is tan theta is equal to minus 4, and tan theta is equal to 1. Now for this one, uh, we understand that this is negative, so you will have to be, well, when tan is negative, it will be in your second quadrant and your fourth quadrant. So let's call this, this will be 360 minus the, um, let's call this x, and that will be 180 plus x, for example, right? And now again, the angle we're trying to find is only between the first and second quadrant, so we don't need this one. Okay, so we need only this one. Now again, because it is, it is negative, I will go with this way. I will first try to find x. Now again, x is not your answer. It is just to help you find theta. So that will be tan inverse of the positive value of 4 to find x. Now x is not your answer again. Tan inverse of 4, that will be so we have to use degrees here, that should be 75.96, which is 76.0. Now to find theta, we have to look at the quadrant. Here we have 180 minus, sorry, this is minus x, that will be 180 minus 76. That will be 1040 answer for this one. Now for this one, it's pretty easy. We understand that when tan is positive, it will be in your first quadrant and in your third quadrant. So here, because it is positive, we can find the value directly. That will be 180 plus theta. So theta will be simply tan inverse of 1. That will be 45 degrees. And also, we have 180 plus 45. That will be 225 degrees. So there we go, theta will be 45 degrees and 104 degrees. This one will be outside of the domain that we need it to be, so it will not be taken as the final answer. And this is that for this question in regards to trigonometry.